Today, we're gonna be chopping the mufflers off of this Dodge Charger Pursuit. I've had this 2019 Dodge Charger Pursuit for a few months now, and after driving it for a while, there's one thing I noticed. This car was designed to be super quiet. It is a cop car at the end of the day, and it has two resonators, a giant catalytic converter, and after all of that, it just makes this car whisper quiet, which after all, that's what this car was intended to be. It was not meant to be loud because it's the Pursuit Edition, but wouldn't it be cool if all cops around us had super loud exhausts? No one really online, in their, in their right mind, wants to take the mufflers off of a car like this. But you know, I'm crazy, so I do it. Why not? Come on, you don't want a loud Dodge Charger Pursuit. That's like the most badass thing on the road. But not only that, I'll be showing you guys a cold start of this car with the mufflers deleted, just so you guys can get a really good picture of what it's like to take the rear mufflers off of your Dodge Charger Pursuit. I did some research online. There's really nobody who documents the Pursuit models and documents how they sound when, they, when we chop off the mufflers. There's a couple people with one or two videos, but I want to make an actual formal video on this topic as I'm sure there's tons of other Dodge Charger Pursuit owners who are considering to chop the mufflers off as I'm sure they also realize this car is so quiet and it can sound so much better if we open up that exhaust a little bit. So I'll be taking it to the shop and let's see how it sounds afterwards. And I guess there's one thing we should really talk about is how much is this really going to cost? Well, I called around my local area and I'm sure it's going to vary from place to place. But in general, you should expect to pay about $200 to $300 for a muffler delete. I know there's some that can fall lower on the higher end of that range. After all, I actually called a couple places. One person quoted me $200. He sounded a little bit sketchy, so I passed on him. Another guy I called, they offered me $400. So I was like, I don't know about that one. And then I called another place and they said, oh, we'll do it for $240. And they seem legit. So that's actually where I'm heading to right now. film a video on my muffler delete and all of a sudden I have a cop car just absolutely tailing the crap out of me. I got a certified speedometer so I know exactly how fast I'm going and he drives off. All right, so we're back from the permanent mod that will forever make this car better. So before we get into actually driving this car with that new exhaust, I want to just tell you guys how it sounds initially, what my first impressions are and just what I think of getting the rear mufflers deleted. Super quick painless process took maybe about an hour hour and a half tops I had a cool shop do it for me they loved it they were like what the hell just showed up at my shop but overall my impressions of getting the muffler deleted is it makes this car of course it sounds better now but it was quite interesting because initially it didn't really make the car that much louder if I'm being honest getting the rear mufflers deleted maybe made it 25% louder, 30% louder. Not something crazy. And I want to actually go into depth about this because there's a lot of confusion about what it means to get the muffler deleted on this car. And what I actually mean by that is for me, I got the rear mufflers deleted. I'll actually show you guys right now exactly what I'm talking about. There is a big fat muffler, or I guess you can call it resonator in the middle here, two of them actually side by side as it's a twin pipe that goes through this car. There's a big resonator slash muffler people like to call it and then it goes to two big mufflers back here and there's also a catalytic converter up there of course. But if we go under this car, you can now see there the welds right there holding the pipes together. But there's nothing back here and if you really look you can see the resonators that i'm talking about so now let's listen to the idle with the mufflers deleted it's quite a light rumble it's not very loud at all maybe the mic will pick it up a little bit louder than what it actually is but it's a totally manageable sound it's not obnoxious at all which is pretty good if you're going to daily drive something like this which uh i kind of do to be honest, you know, why not? <laughs> but it's a great daily driver, and with that muffler deleted, it just makes it a lot more fun to drive. All right, enough talking. I'm gonna give you guys a cold start of this car right now.
then we'll rev up the car a little bit just to see how it sounds warm. And then we'll go for a drive and truly see how this car sounds like. So if you're considering a mod like this, there is something you have to know and it's the difference between a mid muffler and a rear muffler delete on these cars. So for me, I just got the rear mufflers deleted, which opens up the exhaust note a little bit. But from what I've heard online, getting the mid mufflers deleted will make the car quite a bit louder compared to just removing the rears. So I think it's kind of a judgment call. Do you want to get the mid mufflers deleted and make the car pretty loud or just get the rears like I did and it'll just make open up the exhaust a little bit more. It doesn't make it incredibly loud as you'll see right now. We'll give, give it a little pull right now. As you can see, it is louder. I'm not gonna bullshit anyone about that. Yeah, this car can get down and it feels a little bit quicker. I know it's not, I, I'm sure that's just, you know, your mind playing tricks on you because the exhaust is louder. But this thing genuinely feels better and is much more fun to drive is the big thing. And one thing I wanna notice is when you shift now, you can hear a little bit of a burble when you shift. You know, we got some of that German kind of, you know, Mercedes BMW tuning going on. You know, you get that. <laughs> That's the best way I can put it. Makes this car sound a lot faster than it really is. But look, come on. It's an all-wheel drive V8 cop car. This thing is not an F1 car. But to be fair, if I want to make this car a little bit more fun to drive, I think getting the mufflers deleted is fucking awesome. So let me roll down the windows and we'll send it one more time. You guys hear what I'm talking about when you shift? It's nice. It's definitely welcomed in a, a car that's got the V8 power plant. It's just, it just makes the car come to life a little bit more. It, it desperately needed with that double muffler or whatever the hell that just makes this car whisper silent, which I didn't really like. Also, since the car is a little bit louder, I don't need a rag on it so much for it to get that awesome exhaust note to come out. But to be fair, it's really quiet when you're cruising around. That's also an important thing. When I'm just kind of idling or just driving easy, you couldn't tell that I got the mufflers deleted on this car. Again, it didn't make the exhaust note incredibly loud. It just made it a little bit louder. And especially when you go full throttle and really open it up, that's when you notice that there, you made a difference in the exhaust. But not so much so that you just look like a complete douchebag. I mean, maybe I did look like a douchebag when I nailed it there. but. You know what I mean. There's a line between having an exhaust be loud and good versus obnoxiously loud and annoying. And it definitely does not err on the, the side of obnoxious and annoying. This is definitely more on that respectfully needed, you know, nice to have kind of modification. Now, if I were to quantify like one to 10, one, 10 being completely straight pipe, loud as shit, one being like EV quiet Prius, I would say stock this car was maybe a three and now with those mufflers deleted it's more of like a five which is which is good I like that five level and if I have to compare it to my Miata which I got the Miata is probably a seven and a half eight so we can kind of put that into perspective how loud you think this compares to other cars but honestly this thing sounds like how it should have out the factory if you were gonna sell this to civilians, you gotta ship it in this, no mufflers, screw that stuff. Also, it saves a little bit of weight, 20 pounds, but I mean, to be fair, this is a vehicle that weighs 4,500 pounds, so 20 pounds doesn't really mean much. You can just go on a diet instead and you get the same weight reduction. But it's not really gonna be a noticeable difference. I wouldn't consider that a factor in getting your, the mufflers deleted. I'll get a little POV camera going on just so you guys can kind of get a feel for what it's like. Then we'll do one with the windows up. All right, so I think I gave you guys a pretty good picture of how this exhaust sounds like in multiple settings. 
Now, I think the big question is, should you get this mod for your Dodge Charger Pursuit? Hell yeah is my answer. Because honestly, I didn't see many drawbacks. I think there was one drawback I want to bring to you guys is the drone. There is a little bit of drone in this car at about 1800 RPM. It's not too bad at all and it goes away above 2000 RPM, but it is something to notice. You'll have a little bit of drone in the cabin and that's to be expected. You're taking the mufflers out of your goddamn car. That was meant to get rid of drone and noise. You're gonna bring back some drone and noise, but definitely not obnoxious. Definitely not at a level that's too much to handle. So with that being said, this exhaust note is really nice. It doesn't, it's not obnoxious. It doesn't get too much in your face, but it's very welcome. So if you have the money to spend, if you want to modify your car in that manner, I would say, hell yeah, go for it. I can't really speak about the mid mufflers because I didn't get those deleted. I got the rears done, but if you do want more of a conservative modification, I would go with the rear mufflers out of this car. I don't think you'll regret it at all. So if you ever find yourself having a cop car that's fully equipped and has mufflers on it, get those mufflers out of there and you won't regret it. Trust me. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. Like and subscribe and I'll see y'all later.